G'day, this is Captain Noob, and did somebody say Big Iron? This is a single action revolver. This particular weapon has been developed for the Fallout 4 New Vegas mod. And if you don't really know with what exactly that is, basically modders are trying to resurrect New Vegas using Fallout 4's engine. So if all goes as well, if all goes as planned, it actually gets released. We're going to get Fallout's best RPG mechanic system mixed with Fallout's best gunplay system. What's not to love there? Anyway, so this single action revolver comes to you in a standalone weapon form with custom sounds and animations. The sounds sound very similar to a 44 Magnum. They may not even be replaced at all, but I think the mod page said it was different. The sounds are nice anyway. It's the 44 Magnum sound. It's not the best sending 44 Magnum in gaming history, but it does sound like it's got a punch. And before we actually get to the modifications of this thing, this thing is so incredibly detailed. I mean, look at this thing. You can zoom in right close on this preview transform here to you know, look at all of the details in like up close and personal. This is generally not how close you're actually able to scroll into the weapons in Fallout 4. And look, and I'm so glad they did this because you can notice all of the engraving here. I can actually read that and obviously it's got the Colt a Single Action Army 44 Magnum. Although you might be wondering why it's chambered in 38 with a 44 Magnum barrel. Well, I assume that the 38 special round is supposed to be like a replacement for the uh, 357 Magnum round, which this thing used to fire back in New Vegas. They're not really the same bullet, they're quite different, but you know what? It's close enough. And you've got some 44 Magnum receivers if you feel like it, which will enhance your damage. So you've got a couple of different receivers here. You've got the, um, the, the fluted barrels for the basic receiver looking thing here and obviously um 38 versions of that but you can use the modern receivers here which give you a long barrel directly so that's very nice but if you want to have the old school old school look of the single action revolver i'll just chuck on the 44 magnum receiver you can actually chuck on a longer barrel there so you're not going to be missing out on too much damage at all we'll chuck that on with a seven and a half inch barrel could have given at least given me millimeters even though that would be very um, not canonical because obviously it's an American weapon using the Imperial measurements and these are the grips These are all different colors of grips. They do nothing. I've checked this in the creation kit So do what you like here There's not much you can do and this is yet another cosmetic upgrade here You'll notice how it's got a bunch of the creation club paints on it. This is just I guess this is basically a, a placeholder They're not actually going to do anything, but it's got a blue steeled frame a blued steel frame in fact, which looks awesome. A nickel plated flame, a frame, which will make it slightly more shiny. And just a regular old steel frame, which is what I got now. So, you know, a little bit of customization options there. Very, very nice. Let's chuck on blue steel on this. And I guess that's about it. I'll create a couple more of these and I'll see you where we usually go. Just to give you a little bit of an idea of the strength of the single action revolver. The uh, standard 44 Magnum Vanilla Revolver does 266, whereas this one does almost 300. So it is definitely a cut above the um, Vanilla Revolvers in this game, which is nice. Okay, so here we are in Gunners Plaza, and here is what the single action revolver looks like. I swear that hammer moves. No? Okay, well, obviously it gets pulled back because attention to detail. And there's a lot of that with these animations and how this functionally works. So, you know, kudos to the mods. Well, I'll point it out as we come along, but this is what the sights look like. Sometimes they can be lost in the contrast because you've got this tiny little pin to aim up your shots with. It'd be nice if there was like a glow-tipped variant of this uh, front sight here so you could see it a little bit better during dark hours as well, but that's fine. Just ignore that gunner. I, I think they stubbed their toe. This here is the modernized one. And you'll note with the third person animations that this thing has just regular two handed, basically vanilla animation. So, you know, some work needs to, I guess, be done to make this fully one handed and first and third person alike. But it's fine how it is. And of last but not least, I've got the, um, the uh, shorter barrel one here. And this thing, you know, Attention to detail again that does less damage because there's less uh, Barrel for the gunpowder to burn up in so I guess the bullets will be coming out at less velocity Which obviously contributes to its slightly lower range stat too. Anyways, let's begin um, We're playing as Ayla by the way. She's our demolitions expert and her I the idea for her attire comes from the um, the far no, not the far but the 
the pit DLC. Fallout 3 pit DLC. There was a thing called Ordnance Armor. And they had, like, a unique variant called Bombshell, which would increase your um, explosive skill back in that game by 10 points. So I thought, you know what, that's cool, I like this idea. So, <laughs> I found a similar mod in Fallout 4 and just tweaked it with a couple of apparel mods here and there. I feel like it turned out alright. You notice how the reload animation is uh, your one by one? I've actually got a separate mod on to make sure I don't have to reload every single... Uh, bullet if, even if I do fire one I've got a it's called a bullet counter reload mod so it's even nice attention to detail there and I, I guess this will be shipped along with Fallout 4 New Vegas whenever that mod sees a light of day I'm keen for it hopefully it comes around we'll go for some headshots here one thing you can actually do with this weapon is alternate between bashing and um, firing but if you run out of bullets, your bash animation is actually quick enough to make an effective melee weapon out of this thing. So if you've got the uh, basher perk along with it, you can actually you know, make this thing fairly decent in close quarters, despite not being, you know, an automatic rifle. Like a lot of, a, a lot of other decent weapons or better suited close quarters weapons are in this game. Obviously, you're going to get torn to shreds if you're taking on too many targets at once, but that's fine. And get a look at that reload animation. Next time I empty the magazine, I'll just go around the corner, switch to third person, and have a look because I think it's worth looking at. There we go. Nice little headshots. Unfortunately, we don't have a scope for this, so the sights are the basically what we get. But we can do other things too, like use vats even. We'll go for a critical here. Almost got him. If we happen to use gun foo against these chumps, we should probably be all right. Uh, actually, we'll do more shots on you because you're legendary. Now, you'll notice how I got an absolute ton of shots out of this thing with that. So we'll go for a critical here. And, um, yeah, there's the reload animation again. Maybe we should have just waited for that. You'll notice how the, um, the casings eject out, then they kind of just fade out of existence. So that's kind of interesting. We'll go for some more Vats critical stuff here. We've got plenty in the bag. This should be a kill. Indeed it is. Thank you, Gun Fu, for that slight edge of damage. We'll reload this as we're rounding the corner. And for the last couple, we'll bring out the uh, shorter barreled hey. run. See if we get... Wow, smoking kills, bro. He didn't even get out of his putting his Dury down animation and <laughs> to even move. Yeah, smoking kills don't do it. Okay, stub barrel it is. And then the game crashed. But through the magic of editing, I can make this a seamless transition to pick up exactly where we left off. So again, this is the shorter barrel one, and did we kill that other guy? No, we didn't. That's fine. There we go. There's the reload, and we'll just uh, dance around for a minute because there's not much else we can do. One of the more um, things that are a bit of a pain in the ass about weapons like this is even when you're in bats, you have to sit through a full reload. You're just standing there. Like a stunned mullet, you know? Extremely vulnerable, but what we're gonna do is hit this guy with the, with the gun until he dies. Because we can you know, outbash faster than he can punch, which means we don't get staggered. And if we get that kill animation, that's him dead without us having to do too much more damage. Now, generally I'd like to think that a shorter barrel variant of this weapon would have slightly better aimed VATS efficiency. And uh, we'll have a look. They're about the same. There's really no reason to use the short barrel at all, other than for, you know, using it as an artillery man or a cavalry man or, I don't know, I didn't know about this until I went to the creation kit and looked at the uh, different mods for the barrel. And look, I don't know a lot about this weapon. It's, I don't typically don't like revolvers all that much, but yeah, a little bit of roleplay value in that maybe. Who even knows? But yep, let's uh, move on to another thing. Also, another thing, if you've got the classic holstered weapons, you can actually have the big iron on your hip again, so... Yeah. Uh, hang on, these super mutants are talking about things. That's very distracting. I can't focus on my speech when I'm listening to a conversation. I'm not made for multitasking. So, yep, 1600 damage. This thing's definitely got the punch. The only reason we didn't kill that guy in one hit is because we're playing on very hard difficulty, and super mutant warlords are... Well, they're a bit spongy, which is why we're exclusively using bats for this run. Yeah, yeah, mate. You just uh, keep 
smacking yourself in the chest, and eh, that's not great. Let's move slightly closer to him, and there we go, that's the stuff, we'll go for a critical. So the thing about using bats and criticals is it kind of just slows you down a little bit. I mean, better damage per shot, but, you know, those criticals are handy in some situations, but if you keep spamming them, then you're in a position where you're just kind of, you know, just sitting there for ages waiting for those shots to go. So it's, it's not as quick as I'd like it to be, but at least it's cinematic. One more standard shot should do him in. Didn't have it. Well, it didn't look like it was the standard shot that I needed. Three would have dropped him, and yes, yes, hard drive, keep up. Look how much that minigun's doing. It's doing so much. Yeah, they didn't have teeth back in this game. That's okay, because you can just mod them to have better damage. And I've defended Taffington Boathouse. Well, as it turns out, I can multitask. How good's that? <laughs> I'll go for a critical. No more doggo. Alright, we'll keep the uh, modern one because I actually prefer looking the look of this. So to bring it into the modern age, even though the classic look definitely does look pretty decent. As far as revolvers go, we've moved long past these ancient relics, but for their time, excellent, excellent weapons. Like, the ability to fire six bullets without reloading, all you have to do is pull the hammer back every shot. Back then, wow, that's magic. That's so much killing potential. The only thing that'll obviously outdo that is the uh, submachine gun, not submachine guns, machine guns that they make during the First World War. Big technological evolution, but these things revolutionized industry as we know it because the way they were making these on the assembly line, I mean, it's basically the embodiment of the military industrial complex. This got political, didn't it? <laughs> But yeah, the only reason that factories, as we know, at least that's what the documentary that I watched said, I could be wrong about that. It was a long time ago that I watched it, but what was his name? Was it, was it Browning? Was it him? Some guy who made lots of big old guns. Fuck's sake, just die, mate. There we go. So yeah, we're not exactly making world record kill speeds here, but she gets the job done. We're not taking a whole lot of damage out of this, which I guess for any standard time of playing, well, you don't have to use those stim packs. You can save them up or just hoard them because they weigh nothing unless you're playing in survival. At least I can order a gun through those targets. Man, three bullets? Yeah, I'm being... I'm kind of being screwed over by this uh, game's difficulty. Yeah, mate, just take your time. I have homes to go to. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of procs of idiot savant. I've got full intelligence, don't I? I feel like I ought to have that. Yeah, I do. And then some. Alrighty. I guess we'll take on a monster. We'll have to do it pretty quickly now, so I might chem up a little bit. Also, another thing, if you've got the classic holstered weapons, you can actually have the big iron on your hip again, so... Yeah. Uh, hang on, these super mutants are talking about things. That's very distracting. I can't focus on my speech when I'm listening to a conversation. I'm not made for multitasking. So, yep, 1600 damage. This thing's definitely got the punch. The only reason we didn't kill that guy in one hit is because we're playing on very hard difficulty and super mutant warlords are... Uh, well, they're a bit spongy. Which is why we're exclusively using bats for this run. Yeah, yeah, mate. You just, uh, keep smacking yourself in the chest, and eh, that's not great. Let's move slightly closer to him, and there we go, that's the stuff. We'll go for a critical. So the thing about using bats and criticals is it kind of just slows you down a little bit. I mean, better damage per shot, but, you know, those criticals are handy in some situations, but if you keep spamming them, then you're in a position where you're just kind of, you know, just sitting there for ages waiting for those shots to go. So it's, it's not as quick as I'd like it to be, but at least it's cinematic. One more standard shot should do him in. 
didn't have it. Well, it didn't look like it was the standard shot that I needed. Three would have dropped him, and yes, yes, hard drive, keep up. Look how much that minigun's doing. It's doing so much. Yeah, they didn't have teeth back in this game. That's okay, because you can just mod them to have better damage. And I've defended Taffington Boathouse. Well, as it turns out, I can multitask. How good's that? <laughs> I'll go for a critical. No more doggo. Alright, we'll keep the uh, modern one because I actually prefer looking the look of this. So to bring it into the modern age, even though the classic look definitely does look pretty decent. As far as revolvers go, we've moved long past these ancient relics, but for their time, excellent, excellent weapons. Like, the ability to fire six bullets without reloading, all you have to do is pull the hammer back every shot. Back then, wow, that's magic. That's so much killing potential. The only thing that'll obviously outdo that is the uh, submachine gun, not submachine guns, machine guns that they make during the First World War. Big technological evolution, but these things revolutionized industry as we know it because the way they were making these on the assembly line, I mean, it's basically the embodiment of the military industrial complex. And this got political, didn't it? <laughs> But yeah, the only reason that factories, as we know, at least that's what the documentary that I watched said, I could be wrong about that. It was a long time ago that I watched it, but what was his name? Was it, was it Browning? Was it him? Some guy who made lots of big old guns. Fuck's sake, just die, mate. There we go. So yeah, we're not exactly making world record kill speeds here, but she gets the job done. We're not taking a whole lot of damage out of this, which I guess for any standard time of playing, well, you don't have to use those stim packs. You can save them up or just hoard them because they weigh nothing unless you're playing in survival. At least I can order a gun through those targets. Man, three bullets? Yeah, I'm being... I'm kind of being screwed over by this uh, game's difficulty. Yeah, mate, just take your time. I have homes to go to. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of proxy video at Savant. I've got full intelligence, don't I? I feel like I ought to have that. Yeah, I do. And then some. Alrighty. I guess we'll take on a monster. We'll have to do it pretty quickly now, so I might come up a little bit. Ah, there you are. Berserk Mole Rat. Now, this is not a monster that I've fought before, but I think this is a good time as any to really stack on the chems. So we'll check all of this. All of this. Stealth Boy. Maybe? And some XL. Why the hell not? Now, let us begin. We'll shoot this guy. Got plenty of more action points now, thanks to XL. And we'll get a critical, not a sneak critical there, despite me having a stealth boy on, which is kind of interesting. Now he's gonna start teleporting around, but that's fine. We'll keep those criticals rolling in. In fact, that's, uh, that's another one. In fact, we're going to get five crits in one cylinder. The rest of this one's going to just be normal. But we'll have a reload cycle. Hopefully the mole rat will just continue standing there. And we can get stuck into it some more. That may as well just switch single action revolvers instead of sitting through the reload animation. Looks like we've got this one on ice, everyone. You can all go home. Show's over. And uh, just get this reload happening. Swing and miss from Berserk Mole Rat. Now it's vibrating. Very excited to be on the channel. Knows how much I hate the mole raddies. He's not putting up the, the greatest fight. Seemed to be doing some bizarre idle animations. Maybe that's his bite animation. I don't know. I always kill these things too quick to observe. Kind of an ugly looking thing, isn't he? And we're uncloaked now. And through that small vats run. Oh, this is the short barreled one. We weren't getting penalized for range anyway. <laughs> Stop doing that. Stop nipping at me, you little bastard. Alright, let's bring out the big one again. Get some more criticals happening just before this thing 
completely eats me. Eats Ayla, not me, I'm not there. See, a problem with that criticals, it's just too goddamn slow. Come on, man. If he was through the ground, we'd be hitting him. I think he's trying to bite, but to no avail. There's a close-up of that reload animation. And I keep on shooting. Go for a critical here. See, the problem is that if we, if we weren't using criticals, we would have probably done alright there. That would have been over a lot quicker. Ah, I'm staggering it. Well, that's helpful, isn't it? Also, interruptible reload. Have I mentioned that yet? Anyways, I think you get the idea of this thing as that level up comes in. Yeah, the single action revolver. Yep, it's pretty decent. Look, it's not terrible in terms of uh, revolvers I've used in Fallout. And the ability to use these things in VATS to, you know, increase your damage output per shot and your... Know, be less vulnerable yourself whilst you're reloading and everything. It's helpful. A gunslinger build in this game is definitely a viable solution, especially if you are playing survival, because not only are the weapons doing more damage in comparison to what difficulty I'm playing now, um, they're also a ton lighter, which means you can carry around more ammo and everything, although your options are limited being a 10mm pistol and a 44 Magnum. Oh, Western Revolver if you've got the Nuke World DLC. If you'd like to see this weapon in your game, check out the link. There'll be one in the description below. And I'll also check a link to the Bullet Counter mod if you're interested in making it um, work in a specific way, in the right way. Thank you for watching, guys.